Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Mia here. Today's video is going to be a quick book review of a Brain on Fire and this is My Month of Madness by Susanna Cahalan. This was a really, really interesting read and I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, basically, this is a true story of events that took place during a month of her life where she pretty much lost her mind and no one could figure out what was wrong with her. Susanna Cahalan works for The Post. She's a journalist and she works for The New York Post and she is a very intelligent young woman. She is very driven. She has a very bright future ahead of her and her career is very important to her. She's pretty much a go-getter kind of girl. And she had just recently started a more serious relationship. She also has a very good and very close relationship with her family. Her mom and her dad are divorced. Um, and she is a little bit closer to her mom than her dad and very, very close to her brother. So pretty much out of nowhere, she started to develop the symptoms. And she didn't really realize she was having symptoms at first. Um, there were subtle things that you couldn't really notice it was something wrong quite yet so for example one of the first symptoms she had is that she got this crazy obsession with there being uh, bed bugs in her apartment and specialists came and they checked they sprayed everything and they could not find any bed bugs but she was certain that there were in fact bed bugs in the house amongst other things like um, on one occasion she was seeing uh, the lights extremely bright like they were coming to life in a way so she was having source of hallucination and uh, symptoms of paranoia and stuff like that eventually she ends up getting hospitalized and they think that there might be something mentally wrong with her they run a series of different uh, tests on her and they can't quite figure out what it is that is wrong with her. Uh, eventually more and more doctors add to her case because even though they couldn't figure out what was physically or mentally wrong with her, there were symptoms all over the place. So they couldn't name what was wrong with her, but they could clearly see uh, symptoms that she was having. At the very beginning though, the first psychiatrist that she was going to, he wasn't really um, noticing anything wrong with her so every every symptom that they would describe to him he would just kind of wear it off as you work too much you're too tired you're drinking too much and kind of brush it off that way however as I said once she ended up hospitalized they started looking a little bit more in depth um, her behavior just kept decreasing and she kept getting worse and worse and worse uh, by the day However, no one could figure out what was wrong with her. I thought that that was one of the most interesting parts of the book because eventually there was a series of very well-known, very good doctors and psychiatrists and all kinds of uh, specialists working on her case and trying to figure out what it is that is wrong with this young lady that you know, is causing all of these problems and whether it's something that is curable or not. So that whole part pretty much felt to me like an episode of the house tv show i have said this before when talking about this book but it just really felt very much like one of those episodes where no one can really figure out what is going on until this one doctor shows up and he gets it but um the way that she wrote the story is very very easy to enjoy and understand and just kind of get lost into what happened uh, she did it in a journal like kind of fashion but it feels like she's just talking to you like in person and telling you all of these things that happened to her um, a lot of the things that happened she doesn't quite remember herself and some of the things that she does remember she doesn't consider them true facts because other people that have been involved have um, told her that those things never actually happened. So some of the hallucinations that she has, she remembers those as if they were facts, while other things that actually did happen, she has no recollection whatsoever of. So it's very, very interesting what happened to her. Of course, eventually um, her disease or her condition ends up getting discovered and whatnot. And pretty much that's what happens she does take some time 
uh, towards the end of the book to go over that condition and she kind of educates the reader a little bit about it and it's very very informative I love that about this book that it was really informative it was very well researched because like I said she doesn't necessarily remember everything that happened to her so a lot of the facts in this book were researched by her and there are even certain parts that are actual clips from uh, the hospital there were certain cameras that were recording the patients and there are some clips that she describes vividly of her behavior and how she was acting during her worst moments so it was a very very interested and very well written book I highly highly enjoyed it it's one of those books that when you finish reading it you are left with a question of whether what was happening to this person or the condition is a physical or a psychological kind of condition and it was just very interesting and very thought-provoking and I just wouldn't know what to do if you know you were to be in her shoes and in that situation I thought that it was amazing how her family really stepped up and they did everything that they could possibly do they never gave up in order to find her you know some help some real help and there's also since she is telling it in that kind of fashion there's also the nice family connections and how even her parents whom do not get along don't necessarily have any communication amongst themselves since their divorce came together and learned to work together and all for her sake so that was really interesting all the different relationships and how they dealt with such a horrible situation and such a challenging moment in all of their lives so very very enjoyable I highly highly recommend this book if you haven't picked it up pick it up it's worth it I really want to start reading more nonfiction but I find it that is difficult for me to get lost in a nonfiction book usually I don't like it much but books such as this one like memoirs or journals or things like that catch my attention a lot more because I feel that it becomes more about the person and what that person experienced and it's it's not as you know facts listed as it could be for like other nonfiction books which are like that but really really enjoyed it I ended up giving it I think four or five stars I can't remember exactly right now but I believe it was four or five stars and I like I said highly recommend it to all of you who are interested in this kind of topics. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon in another one.